Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at Great Admiral from Tobot V. Uh, if you're not familiar with the series, it is a Korean cartoon. It is available on YouTube, albeit without subtitles, so you can't really know exactly what's going on. But you can still watch the cool robots transform back and forth. Uh, this is the main character down here, and unfortunately I don't know his name. Again, no subtitles. Um, but he has this like collection of toys that can uh, obviously grow in size and then become robots. They fight other robots and things, and it's, it's cool. Giant fighting robots can't go wrong. So this is the Great Admiral, which is kind of a giant like battleship kind of Star Destroyer looking vehicle thing. Uh, that also has a dragon head out the front of it, which is, again, always fun. Can't go wrong with dragons. Not a backpack this time, but still fun. So just got this in the mail today. Very excited to take a look at it. If you remember, I did review Tank Guy already from this line, and this guy has a combination with Tank Guy. Probably won't get to it in this video, but I'll do another... Uh, what do you call it? Combination video, that's the word. Uh, tomorrow, most likely. So I want to make sure I give that uh, plenty of time because it's going to probably take a while uh, to get through all the transformations and everything. But taking a look at this packaging, you can see a picture on the side here of the vehicle mode and the robot mode. And these are all made by Young Toys, which is a Korean company, and I have to say they've been crushing it so far with these. Uh, here is a picture of the robot mode on the side. It is massive. Not really anything going on the bottom. Not really anything going on the top. But we'll take a look at the back. The back very heavily advertises the combination <laughs> with Tank Guy. As you can see there. Very, very cool. And again, it just shows the two here. And then we combined. He mostly gets like new arms and shoes from Tank Guy, but... Still looks very, very cool. So let's go ahead, let's get this guy out of the box, and we'll take a closer look. Alright, so here is Great Admiral out of the packaging, and I gotta tell you guys, he's a beast. He is massive, uh, fantastic paint applications, articulation is great, we'll get there, really nice tight ratchets. So much detail, sculpting. I love the color scheme. You can see he's got a little bit of back kibble here, but it kind of ends up working out like a cape, so I kind of like it. But yeah, he looks fantastic. And he's definitely a nice, big, solid toy. I want to take a quick look at the head sculpt. It's kind of simple, but I like it. You can see it's got this uh, little flourish here on the top. Paint applications for the eyes look really good. Face. And I really like his helmet. I like that quite a bit. And of course, you can see he's got a dragon head built into his chest we'll get there in a minute but yeah when I was saying before when he's a beast he's super tall so here is optimal optimus power of the primes leader class you know he comes up to his midsection maybe I don't want to say he's half as tall but he's at least one and a half times as tall so that's nuts he's super 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 tall I would say he's easily the size of, like, a Sentai Mecha, maybe even a little taller than that. And he has a combination with Tank Guy. That's going to be an even bigger beast. I can't wait. Uh, but, yeah, I can't I can't get over it. It's These toys are amazing, and I can't recommend them enough. But let's get into some articulation here. So head can't really move at all. It folds into the chest later, which we'll see. So, unfortunately, no side-to-side -side movement or anything there. In the shoulders, you can move them up and down like this. It's mostly for the transformation, but it gives you a little bit of options. Uh, if you want to move the hands out, you can see that there's, and there's a joint in there. So there's a joint here in the shoulder, and then there's another joint. So you can't come forward or back, but you can go out to the side. Uh, if we lift this up so you can see how this works, it's a solid piece. Nice solid elbow ratchet, and it can go a little bit back, and then not really quite 90 degrees, but fairly close. Uh, these shoulder pads can hinder a little bit, but you can move them around if that helps. Uh, you have an opening fist, and by opening I really just mean the, the fingers pop out so you can put the weapons in, and then close it back up. 
otherwise, the hands don't rotate or anything because they kind of fold into the forearm. And then we'll come down. I'll move the camera down a little bit so we can check out the waist and lower half articulation. So there's not a ton of articulation down here, but what you do get is nice. Uh, they have these side skirts that can kind of pop out to the side, and you can slide these pieces out too to make it a little bit easier. Once you move the side skirt, you can go ahead and kick the leg out to the side, but you can just see that there's a lot going on, so it gets in the way. Honestly, um, for the transformation, you will eventually put the legs all the way together, so you kind of want to just click them out once to the side just so he can stand for his normal robot pose. Uh, you can do a little bit of front and back ratchet in the hip, and then you have a super tight uh, ratchet in the knee, which sounds great. So overall, that's pretty much it for the legs. Um, from the knee down is one solid piece. And like I said, these pieces can slide out and up and down. We'll get there. It's all part of the transformation. And then the combination with Tank Eye as well. Coming around to the back, you have the cape piece, which has a little bit of movement. Uh, you can kind of bring it away from the body and hang it down that's really for the transformation but it can be done uh, same with this piece in the back again for the transformation but that's just how it hangs if for some reason you wanted it to go all the way to the ground you could um i think these these bottom uh heels would get in the way but you could at least have it hang down there well, let's just go ahead let's try it out if you had this hang all the way down like you were transforming it, yeah, it would just look goofy because it would just hit the ground. <laughs> uh, but you could do it, but it would look goofy. Looks much better just all the way up. And it actually stays up really nice. Like you can hear it kind of click into place up there. So this guy is awesome. Uh, I'll start the transformation and by that all I mean is I will go ahead and pull the dragon out and how that works is you just kind of wiggle it out of there and it is one clip right here that clips into this little spot right here on the chest. It is kind of difficult to get him back in there because you just kind of have to make sure that everything on the sides here uh, clears these two kind of yellow pegs which are what kind of keep it they're kind of like guidelines, basically, <laughs> to get this back in. So when you do put this back in, you kind of have to just make sure everything fits and then kind of push it up and back, and it will clip into place with that into that. But let's go ahead and uh, transform this. This is the Toki, which does have a dragon mode. All right, so this is the Toki. Um, they still call it a key, even though it technically... Uh, doesn't work the same way as kind of the earlier part of the line where it actually functioned as a key to unlock a part of the transformation uh, Now they just kind of transform into animals and then peg into the chest <laughs> But I'm okay with it. It's still a lot of fun. So you can see there's a lot of great paint applications and everything on this guy and the funny thing is the directions don't really at any point Tell you how to transform it into a dragon. They tell you how to do the kind of chest configuration Which is what we're seeing here and then they tell you how to do the vehicle transformation um, but they don't ever really tell you how to just make it a dragon which is really strange uh, so I just kind of figured it out for myself this flips up as part of the tail and then this part comes forward you can see it kind of unhooks there and then the head of the dragon can swivel around and then you just want to um, swivel these around and you can see they kind of stop at logical places and then the legs will kind of come down and just make sure you have clearance for everything when you're doing this. As you can see there, I have to get clearance past the dragon head. And then you just kind of stretch this out. I think it goes like this. And I will zoom out a bit here. So you can kind of you know, play with it as you wish. But that's the gist of the dragon. Again, really nice paint applications. Mouth does open and close. All the teeth are painted. The blue eyes look fantastic. Got a primarily red, yellow, and gunmetal gray color scheme, but really, really cool. I like it quite a bit. Now, to get it into um, the 
configuration for the uh, vehicle mode, <laughs> you have to close these back up. Like this. And then you want to close this up and you want to make sure that pretty much um, the gray pieces are pointing towards the front on the bottom ones. So kind of like this. And then uh, this will end up coming up. So you need to make sure that these rotate around. Eesh, okay, this is always a problem, making sure that there's clearance. So they'll kind of stop like that. So then you want to make sure that you can rotate this around. Okay, so there is, there we go, just like that. And you'll see how they all kind of configure together. And you will, because these little uh, circles right here are how it's gonna connect to the vehicle mode. So that's why you need to make sure that they're up and then the tail will just go kind of straight back. Also, I can't believe I totally spaced, uh, I have to show you the weapons. I didn't show you the weapons. So let's take a look at them before we start the vehicle transformation. You have this large piece that acts as a shield. There are two little clips right here, which will clip onto the side of the forearms. It's a little cumbersome um, because of how big it is with the shoulder pads, but you can get it to clip on there. Uh, but far more impressive is the sword. I love the sword design. And this is very simple. You just open the fingers like I detailed earlier, pop that in there and then close it up. And that is a cool looking sword. I really love that. So that is him with the sword and the shield. So we'll go ahead and we'll remove them and we can get into the transformation here. So put those off to the side. Uh, let's see, where should we start? I guess we can come back here, fold these two down, fold the crest on the helmet down, and then flip this down twice, and that'll click into the chest there. You can kind of straighten out the arms like that. Go ahead and fold the fists up into the forearms. You're going to want to fold these pieces out. But before you do that, actually before we do that, let's come down to the legs. So I will move the camera down here. You're going to push the legs in once on one click on each leg which is sometimes easier, so there we go. Then you're going to peg them together very simply like that. Make sure that these are pushed all the way in. You're going to come to these pieces, pull them out, and then slide them down. And then you're going to fold these pieces out at kind of a 45 degree angle. Like that. So out, down, 45 degree angle for the little yellow pieces. Then you're going to turn it around like this. These are going to rotate down into the leg, or really the bottom of the leg, slash the foot, like that. This is going to kind of accordion out and start to fold back, but don't quite click it all the way in place just yet. Uh, then you're going to rotate these parts all the way up. And then you're going to want to plop these straight up like that. There we go. Then you're going to rotate these like that. They have that extra joint in the shoulder I showed you guys earlier. And that kind of rotates. And you can see that then these gray pieces are all kind of flush with each other. Then you're going to come to the back and this will kind of fold down and clip into place and then you can see that there's a cutout right here that fits over this piece here so you just kind of bring this all down and there will be some clips two clips here will clip into these two clips here so just kind of bring this all down and it will close over top and i'll peg in and be nice and solid 
So at this point, you're going to bring in the Toki, the dragon from earlier. And you can see that there are two nubs, one right here, and I apologize for lighting, there's one, and there's the other one. So this has to kind of slide in here and have it peg into these two holes on the side. And it's definitely easier said than done. Much easier said than done. You know what, I might have, I might not have the dragon head far enough forward. I do that sometimes. Eesh. Okay. There we go. You kind of heard those click into place. There we go. That wasn't bent forward enough. So try to get these in here. There we go. So they've kind of clicked into place now. And then when you come on the underside, this kind of just fits in that little recess perfectly right there, the tail. So there you go. That is the front of the ship with the dragon head, which does look a little goofy, but it's all good fun. Take the shield, take your sword. You can see that there is a little notch. And there are uh, three pegs and three peg holes right there. The notch is uh, right here and here. And that's so that it can fit around these little spots right there. And then it'll peg in. And then you come to the underside. And you can see that there are clips here and there. And that is for these two clips right there and there. So then this will all just pop on and clip into place. And then you have a totally amazing, like, uh, I guess it's like a battleship. I To me, it looks like a space vehicle, but I guess you could... Nah, it's pretty much a space vehicle. I mean, you could pretend it's for water, but come on, we know. Alright, so it's kind of impossible to keep this thing all in frame at the same time, but it looks absolutely beautiful. Again, love the color scheme, all the molded in detail. You can even see that they have uh, little like shuttle doors. If I get real close and zoom in here, you can see there's a little door right there. Up here on the side, you can see uh, doors one, two, and three. And then if you come around to the front, and this is the part that kind of reminds me of like White Base from Gundam, you can see it has hatch one and two, and then it has like a little runway for ships that would launch, or mobile suits if you'd like to pretend. <laughs> But I just think that's so cool. That's just a bunch of added detail that's just molded in uh, that they didn't have to do. But like I said, these are really big, nice, solid toys. You heard the ratchets. You see the paint applications, all the molded detail. Just everything about these is really solid. I mean, now granted, this was not a cheap toy. I think this was somewhere in the area of 80 to 90 bucks. But when you think about the fact that it's easily as big as like one of the somewhat larger Sentai Mecha. I mean, when you think about the Sentai Mecha from Japan, they're usually for the normal base Mecha somewhere in the area of 50 to 60, depending on where you buy it, discounts and things like that. So this is even larger than that. It would make sense that it's in the like 70, 80, 90 range, just because of how big it is and how solid it is and the ratchets and the paint and everything. And I just love it. I mean, if you really don't like the look of the dragon, you can leave that out. And I'll try to just take it out of here. So if we just put that off to the side. Now, it is a little bit open then in the front. But if you just like the look of that ship better without the Toki, you certainly can do that. I also appreciate how they kind of have uh, the front of the feet here. And then this piece of the shield. Uh, making it so that it can kind of hold its own weight because it is not something that naturally lays even on the ground. So I do appreciate that it kind of has that, you know, landing ge landing gear, quote unquote. I can't talk today. But yeah, so I definitely love the look of this. The design is fantastic. The molding is amazing. The paint applications are great. I think this battleship mode looks fantastic.
I think this guy's fantastic. I mean, he's got amazing ratchets, pretty good articulation. Uh, paint applications are great. The level of detail is amazing. Uh, if I had to nitpick something, sure, I'd love maybe one or two more joints in the, like, shoulder, arm area, bicep swivel, something like that. But I kind of equate this to, like, Sentai Mecha. Uh, it just looks super big and impressive as a robot. Um, you don't really need a ton of articulation for something this big. Uh, but it just really looks good. I just really absolutely love. I love the transformation. Super fun. I love the vehicle mode. The molding and the detail in the vehicle mode is absolutely outstanding. Another thing I wanted to show, you can go ahead and store the sword in the shield to give him kind of like a bladed uh, shield mode, which is also another really cool alternative. Um, yeah, I mean, there's really not too much to complain about with this guy. I really love him a lot. And I'm really excited and looking forward to the combination with Tank Guy, which I will most likely uh, film for you guys tomorrow so we can take a look at that. But in closing, I know that these are expensive toys, but I definitely think they're worth it. Uh, they're big, they're bulky, they're solid, the ratchets are super tight, the detail in the paint uh, is definitely there. Like For what you're paying for, you get a quality product. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, thank you so much for watching.